Okay, so welcome to the astrology readings um, with myself, Psychic Ali. Um, for this is for uh, Monday the nineteenth through to the twenty fifth of August. I hope you're keeping well, and I hope life is 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 great. Um, I truly, truly wish this for everybody. Um, remember, life is what you think of it. Okay, so it's all we are manifesting our future with every thought we have. So, um, you know, I know that sometimes we can kind of, you know, look at what's going on maybe on the TV or what's going on, you know, out there. Um, but um, remember that it, um, we've got to think of the utopia that we want. Okay, where we want our life to be, how we want this world to be. Okay, so try and think past it. I know it's hard, but um, we can do it. We can manifest what it is we want. How do we want our, you know, how do we want our um, our world to be? How do we want our world for our grandchildren, our great grandchildren? Okay, so you know, the universe is listening. Okay, that's what uh, that's what I feel. As crazy as that sounds, but that's true. Okay, so um, so I've got a couple of things coming up. So we're just coming to the end of our 15 week uh, psychic development um, course. Uh, remember, they just continue on. So, you know, um, the next one is going to be two five weekers. Okay, um, so the first five weeks is going to be all to do with tarot. Um, so it's going to have, um, obviously, I'll go through the tarot and we'll do it in depth okay so you you might want to um learn a new deck of cards you might want to you know learn and and um develop your um abilities with the oracle cards um you know in addition and how do they work with your tarot cards um going to be teaching you new techniques i'm going to be teaching you um some you know layouts okay and uh, like for instance a double timeline technique i'm going to be teaching you that so say if you've got somebody or maybe yourself and um you're in a dilemma you don't know whether to stay in a relationship or leave or you don't know whether to stay in a job or leave you don't know whether to stay in your house or leave or you know so it's like there are two possible timelines ahead of you so you can do what's called a double timeline reading so um, I usually put, have two decks of cards that are the same kind of deck. You don't have to have the same. You could have, you know, just two decks of cards. Um, so what I get my client to do is think about the first, um, the first scenario, which is to stay. Stay as you are. Don't move anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Stay as you are. Get them to hold that thought. You shuffle the cards with that energy okay you then do the reading there you can see um how things feel okay with that you then ask them to think about leaving you know um what would it feel like to leave and, and do something else and then you then pull cards on that as well and i'll teach you the layouts that i use for that and then you know they can clearly see whilst looking at each of these kind of um, future layouts, um, basically how their life is going to, how their life is going to work out and whether or not it's worthwhile uh, making those changes. Okay, so sometimes I've been known to kind of do this reading and somebody still aren't ready to make the changes and they stay as they are. And it might be a year later, they come back and say, I wish I'd done that change that, uh, was coming up um, in my cards. I wish I'd done it a year ago, but I suppose I, I had to wait and I had to um, get my head around things. And so, yeah, I mean, you don't have to take the advice of the cards. The card shouldn't be an advice thing. It's just literally showing you things. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to teach you kind of some of those different layouts um, each week. Okay, so for five weeks. Um, and then after that, so that starts next Monday. So Monday, the 26th of August, Monday, the 26th of August. And that will be at 2.30 p.m. Eastern, 11.30 a.m. Pacific time. 
and that is 7.30 p.m. UK. And it will finish at 10.30 p.m. So it's a three hour with a little break in between. OK, so um, and then and the same time will be straight after that five weeks. It will be the 30th of September, Monday, the 30th of September. And that will be mediumship and clairvoyance. So being in tune, understanding the difference between your thought pattern, your spirit guides, what's being channeled. Just what you know. OK, enhancing all your um, other clairvoyant en energies and bringing the whole thing together. And that's another five weeks. So this is designed. It's kind of like a two part. OK, um, you know, week and that that should give you um, a professional feel to it. You know, you you know, if you if you work hard um, and, you know, you maybe do some kind of practicing in the in the meantime, um, I feel that you, this could take you into um, being professional. Um, so, you know, it, it can be done. It can be done um, because we're already clairvoyant. We're already um, psychics. We're born psychic in the womb. We're in touch with the mother energy. You know, so if, if you find that your mother is angry or upset, the chances are you're going to get um, an agitated baby. Um, and that's kind of, you know, the intuition. So I'm waffling a bit now. But anyway, that is starting. If you choose to, it's a five week course. Um, the charge of it is five pounds a week, pay as you go. Um, and that works out at uh, $6.49, $6.49. Now, if you wanted to, you can get one week free. So that's uh, one week free. And that would be the 20 pounds, five pounds a week, 20 pounds. Um, which would be uh, $25.97, okay, $25.97. So you get um, that for the, the whole thing um, for, um, you know, five, five pounds off. So, yeah, so you don't have to pay for one week. So if you wanted to do that, um, you can just go to my website to register and I will send you the Zoom code and all the details. OK, so um, you can go to psychicalley.net and sign up for that. OK, so um, the um, tarot one starts on Monday, the 26th of August and the mediumship clairvoyant one starts on Monday, the 30th of September. OK, so enough about all that. So we're going to be doing the um, astrology readings in this order. OK, it's all running along the bottom there, just so you know. Um, so we're going to be doing Earth signs first. So that will be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The fire signs after that, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. Then the air signs, Aquarius, Gemini and Libra. And then finishing off with the water signs, Scorpio, Pisces and Cancer. Oh, Cancerians, sorry. Um, so, yeah, that's that's kind of the the order of things. So um, I'm sorry I didn't go live tonight. Um, I have uh, just started on the Wagovi um, injection. So I'll let you know how that all goes. It's a weight loss injections. So um, my doctor um, has recommended them. And so I have, I have started that. So um, I'm so excited because, yeah, I've got lots of um, health issues and I need those to be gone sorted. So, um, so yeah, I'm excited about that. So nine fifteen, nine nine minutes fifteen seconds to um, to start this off. Okay. So I'm going to be doing the. Where are they? Here they are. So. Um, we're going to be finding out what sort of emotional lessons are going to be learnt. OK, what emotional lessons are going to be learnt by, um, you know, for each astrology sign. OK. So. there, Right. OK, so if these are good shuffle, they are ready. So let's bring up Taurus. 
okay Taurus 20 so 19th through to the 25th of August so what all oh, hello two cards just flew out so I'm going to use those two cards there okay so one of them the lessons that you're going to be um, going into um, is the letting go um, how does it feel to need to let go of something how does it feel to be let go okay so this could be for either okay you you may be the one that is you know someone saying i'm done i can't do this anymore and they are leaving and going or it could be you okay saying i'm done um you know emotionally i'm not going to take this anymore but either way that is the lesson that's going to be um learned there now we've also got this feeling of a heavy load so are you letting go walking away because it's all become too heavy is everything piled on your shoulders and you've got other people in the background going yeah we're cheering you on you go for it we're just going to sit back and do nothing you just do everything so are you feeling taken for granted or is this something that needs to be kind of sorted out with a bit of a chat okay um so that is the energy there so let's have a look what the tarot now say taurus right oh lovely card straight off so you've got the ten of pentacles um this is the cosmic deck by norbert loesch okay l o s c h e highly recommend these as a um as a starter deck okay all the um birth signs are done for you on here makes life a lot easier believe me so anyway the ten of pentacles large amount of money um financial security a feeling of being blessed with your financial um you know status it could be that you look um, as if you have more money than you actually do have now the queen of pentacles indicates there are plans for the future so maybe you have a long-term plan um, for you know getting successful or being successful um, in a project or in your work you know maybe you um, feel as if you need to move home um, maybe that is what's going to bring you that financial security maybe you've made decisions about your home and getting money from your home somehow um, this is stepping forward so look at these pentacles you've got three pentacles out of all these cards three pentacles okay so the two of pentacles is about a feeling a bit nervous a bit nervous about stepping forward a bit nervous about making the decisions that you're going to make um but um this as you can see it looks like it's all um it's all good because it's um it's all about increasing your finances incre increasing your security um so it's not a bad thing i can see a bit of um um it's like keeping things quiet or not really telling too many people about what what you're deciding um i'm seeing somebody around you who's a bit of a perfectionist um, they're wanting everything done their way. They don't like it when someone else comes in and tries to, um, you know, tries to manipulate or tell you that it's the wrong, you're doing it wrong or, you know, you don't know what you're doing. So there's a, a bit of a, um, a like a, a cocky energy or, you know, being a bit too, um, you know, um, arrogant. I would say there's an arrogance there. Okay. Um, now, that is somebody around you somebody surrounding you at that time okay that it in that's coming up this week um you are ready for a challenge though you have said to the universe come on the universe bring it to me show me what i need to do because um this is my turn this is the right thing for me to do now emotionally things might not be as easy as um as it is financially um at this time um but uh, you know when you feel as if i've got a i feel rejected or i feel let down in some way i'll throw myself into work that's kind of the energy that i'm seeing around taurians okay so there you go that's what i got for 
Virgos. Virgos, what is going on with you emotionally, Virgos? Let me see. Right, so feeling a little bit lost, okay? So there feels as if there needs to be a purpose, okay? That purpose may be a purpose with someone. Um, it may be that you feel as if, you know, not anything is really connecting the way that you are hoping it to be. Um, there could be circumstances around you that is leading you into feeling as if I, I'm not fitting in something's not quite right um so there is going to be um somebody coming along and saying hey do you want to come out and play do you want to um get your freedom okay so um i can see that um you know when you feel comfortable so nothing's really bad you feel comfortable everything's okay but there is somebody who says you know maybe you're not comfortable are you sure you're comfortable is that really what you want okay in life you know, so I feel as if there's temptation coming your way, Virgos, tempting you to maybe try a different way of living. And um, you're going to be kind of asked what you're going to do about that. OK, so you're going to have to make that decision. OK, so now if this isn't you, this is somebody around you. This is um, a, um, one of those emotional learning uh, stages. So. Bear with me. Let's look at the tarot. OK, so you saw me. I, I shuffled these cards and I also slid the cards inside. So there were six cards and I slid them throughout the pack. So there's no reason why these would come up again. OK, so the Queen of Pentacles, she plans ahead. She's always got an agenda. She's always got kind of a way out of a situation. Um, there is a tearful character around somebody who's feeling very anxious. I feel that they are kind of looking at life uh, um, and not feeling as stable as they want to feel. Um, they are looking for somebody to to help them find that security. OK. And then sometimes it means, you know, when we're floundering about and uh, we're not feeling as uh, relaxed and, and stress free as we do, there is chance of going backwards, a chance of going back to an ex or, or an ex energy comes in and offers you some sort of temptation. OK, so be aware of those um, loose ends things that you haven't quite dealt with properly um, because I feel as if they may be coming back and biting you on the ass there. Um, now, this could be somebody close to you. This could be, you know, you have been warning about this, um, you know, situation to a friend or a family member. Um, this could be, you know, um, her at work, you know, and this is what is coming up. But the truth is here. Um, there is a trying to move on, but there is something holding you back. Um, now, I'm going to say for some of you, this may not be a love life issue. For some of you, this may be um, um, like a family matter and the reuniting energy, this person coming back in, um, throwing kind of all sorts of emotions around. And, um, you know, one of you is trying to move forward and the other person is trying to hold you back. OK, so see which one this is for you. OK, um, I do feel as if you are trying to um, look after yourself, trying to protect yourself um, from this situation escalating into something more. Um, you are walking on eggshells around a certain person a certain situation um, that does feel as if somebody is is drifting away from you okay now you've got a, a tough exterior you've got a tough outer um you know shell and you're not going to let something like this get to you you're not going to let uh, um somebody dictate to you how you feel about um life 
okay so i feel that this this is a time for um gratitude this is a time for looking at what you do have and not all the things that you don't have because the universe is going to test you otherwise um so yeah yeah it's about gratitude for sure all right so that's what i get for virgos okay so we're gonna go into capricorns so capricorns is 20 2020 okay so with these cards i am definitely sliding them in to the deck okay so just so you know <laughs> So if they come up again now last week it was all the aces and also that was coming up in all my readings that i did as well it was all the, the aces and um, so i wonder if these aces are going to come up again that aces are new beginnings um the start of a new story or chapter in your life okay so let's see what emotions are coming up for Capricorns. Joy. Okay, so this is, it can be simply partying, it can be, you know, get togethers, gatherings, um, it can be the, um, that gratitude energy, again, coming back in, you guys have got it right, you have got it there, um, right in front of you and you are in that love vibrational energy <clears throat> excuse me um, I'm seeing somebody who may be kind of not taking life as seriously as they should um, so I do feel that there is somebody who um, is off playing when they should be kind of making sure that everything is done that needs to be done and then we can go and have some fun. So it's like one person is trying to be sensible while the other person is just being a child. And I feel that this is in a relationship or this is in a family situation. And you know, when you're trying to get through to each other, <clears throat> you lighten up and you take more responsibility and back and forth and back and forth it goes. Um, so I can see that there is links with higher self, links with um, the spirit world so this is going to be as if there is a um, a psychic charge that is going to be going through I feel everybody and that is going to be happening around I would say the middle of next week um, the vibration energy is going to go higher um, it wouldn't surprise me if something doesn't happen with that Schumann resonance. If you're not sure what the Schumann resonance is, I don't know 100%. All I know is it's like a heartbeat of Mother Earth. So sometimes we can have a blackout, a whiteout a while ago, um, especially while all the uh, dis disruption was happening in the UK, there was a red out. It was like a block of red. Um, so it's a good idea to watch the Schumann resonance, S-C-H-U. M A double N uh, resonance. Okay, so cheers, everybody. Mm -hmm. Right, let's have a look and see what the predictions are today. The capital. right okay so onwards and upwards the four of wands this to me says that everything is going very well you're very focused you've done all the preparation work towards your life plan to towards a goal um, this can be um, a project um, a hobby this can be a work situation life path they're saying that you are already successful Okay, you've already won that energy over um, and you are offered this next step. So um, it's like, are you going to take that next leap forward? Are you going to focus on what that next level is? Okay, it's very, very strong. Okay, feeling. Now, you're also going to be asked 
to um, stand up for yourself. You can see here they're kind of like sitting down thinking, I don't know, it's a nice day. I don't, I can't be bothered with a with a fight, can you? Um, but if they do battle, battle, or if they do, you know, make us make a stand, then we're going to have to. And um, so this is you. This is you saying, I really don't want to fight you, but I will. Okay. We've also got two fours. Fours are to do with stability, structure, trying to find more structure in your life, um, trying to get more organized, trying to make sure that everything is in place before you go forward. Okay. Now, the magician card says that your spirit guides are working very hard um, in the background for you. OK, so can you see there are all the tools here to make it work? So you've got a pentacle, money, you've got sword, thoughts, you've got cups, which is your emotions, and you've got a wand, which is your sheer determination, um, fire, desire. OK, so all of that is in place. All you're, you're needing to do is to believe in yourself. There is also self-employed energy also around Capricorns. Um, you are born to succeed, okay? It is part of your, um, your makeup, your, you know, your uh, abilities. Um, now, the Justice card, this is about legal documents or legal awareness. Now, watch out for things coming to an end and something new starting. So it feels as if um, it's like I've got a signature on paper um, or, you know, I'm signing contracts of some kind. Um, I'm finding out where I stand legally. And there we go. We're going ahead with it. Now, now I can see somebody familiar around you, um, especially around, I would say, the end of this next week, uh, Capricorns. And this person is um, able to give you the details that you've been waiting for um, and um, is going to be kind of showing you the way. So it's a bit like I'm seeing, yes, yeah, sign here and do that. And then this will actually work in your favor. So um, there is also somebody who has been going through some sort of uh, um, court case or going through. Um, it's like, um, you know, ach achieving something through courts or through the legal system. And I've got a big thumbs up that everything has come full circle. And I'm seeing this is ended. This is finished. And I've got a good feeling about it. Um, and I've also got reconciliation with some people that maybe weren't communicating or talking, um, but now they are. Now they've seen what was truly happening. OK, it's like uh, the world has opened up and the awareness is there. So, yeah. Something good is coming, OK, for you, Capricorns. I'm seeing that. Okay, so this is for Leo's. So 19th through to the 25th of August. There we go. So emotionally, the lessons this week are about your visions. Okay, this is about following um, your higher self. Okay, so if you're in a situation and it feels as if it's an uphill struggle, um, you know, you're trying to go in this direction, but everything doesn't seem to kind of go your way. It's like um, it's, it's hard. Um, is the universe trying to tell you this is the wrong time or, you know, that's the wrong direction? You know, um, the, the more we ignore it, the more that the universe keeps coming up with another obstacle, another block. So if you try several different ways to get to the same place, um, think about maybe stepping back and maybe trying something different, even sometimes to have some fun, um, go and enjoy yourself, you know, um, let your inner child come out and play. Um, and then, you know, you may find that the universe is going to show you maybe a different way forward. OK, that would be 
um, one of the one of the things that I feel would come up this week um, for you. Okay, so also have you been feeling a little bit like that? Okay, so um, is somebody out there having to um, sacrifice their own happiness for another person? Are you sacrificing your happiness for someone that you love or care for? Um, why does it have to be that one person sacrifices while another person is thriving? I feel that that is going to be something that you're going to be addressing, something that you're going to be um, getting into. OK, and um, I feel it's, it's to do with partnerships. It's to do with, you know, understanding each other and understanding each other's needs and thinking beyond our own. OK, it's like, well, how does that person feel? OK, in this situation, uh, what do I feel is going on there? OK, so there's the emotional lessons. Let's have a look and see what the tarot say here we go all right so this week this week we're starting off with the tower um now on its own the tower can mean an eruption but i always like to look at the card next to it you see this is where it changes so if I'd have just read you out what the tower meant, you wouldn't have got the whole gist of this. Um, so this is the sun card. So I'm seeing that there is a whole new horizon coming up for you. And um, this is because you're having that extreme kind of makeover or extreme change of circumstances. Um, you have been feeling bored and restless. You have been in a situation where, um, you know, life is is like, you know, unless you shake things up, nothing's going to change. Um, you don't want things to stay the same, um, especially in a certain area of your life. Well, this is this is the universe saying, let's get it sorted. Um, this is going to create that sunshine energy. It's going to create, you know, a whole new way of uh, living and enjoying yourself okay but you know you have to take the the bad with the good um or the disruption with the uh, positive energy um so i can see this um um it's like um disruption i can see maybe going i mean if you could see my flat at the moment <laughs> yeah i've moved one bit of furniture well, I didn't move it my daughter helped me um and uh, her husband um so one bit of furniture and everything is disrupted um it is absolute chaos here in my home um and there's not a lot I can do about it apart from just little bits and pieces um because of my um disability so um I am trying I'm trying and I know that she's going to pop around and help again um, but uh, yeah, so this is this is what I'm seeing uh, for me, and I'm seeing that projecting. That when they give me that, they're giving me that to tell you: Are you sorting out cupboards and drawers or furniture? Are you sorting out, you know, maybe uh, stuff that you don't need anymore, don't use anymore, and you're giving it to a charity, or uh, what? It, what is going on? Okay, regarding you know sorting out okay because whatever you're doing is going to create that light happy and vibrant energy and it will stop you from feeling bored because once we flow there's a flow of chi energy um it, it it's like uh, feng shui it um it really generates more energy for business, for work, for um, life path energy, for happiness. Um, so it can really change change things up. Um, there is somebody around you who you've decided to have a wide berth from. It's like, I don't want to talk. I don't want to be around you. I'm, I'm done. I can see that somebody has been angry. And I don't know if this is you or it's the other person that I'm picking up on. Um, but I'm getting that agitation. Um, it's like when somebody's trying to 
um, please other people, but other people are just still criticising. Um, I can really see that uh, there is a line being drawn and uh, the communication lines have definitely gone down. OK, this is definitely regarding two people, two main uh, people. And um, like I said, there has been anger or frustration. OK, there is going to be light coming out as well. I do see the um, sunshine as well. Um, I'll show you. Um, we've got that sun. Can you come up there? Um, that sun there and the temperance. So balance is coming um, away from the anger and frustration. But, um, you know, please be aware of other people's feelings, especially next week. Um, that will help um, you a great deal. It really will. So, yeah, that's what. OK. So let's see the, the emotional lessons that are going to be part of Sagittarius's week. OK, here we go. I've got a Sagittarius moon, so it'd be interesting for me as well. Okay, so this is indicating that somebody is freezing another person out. Somebody is saying, help me, please help me, and then becoming unreachable. Um, is there somebody around you who clearly does need help but will not be helped? Um, you know, is it you? Are you kind of needing help but you're unreachable for others um there's a frustration that is growing regarding this and um it's going to be quite um a tricky situation i feel that uh, needs to be resolved i feel at this uh, point next week now this could be a power struggle okay is there more than one person involved in this power struggle you know, um, is uh, somebody creating um, a defensive energy each time that you bring up a subject, you know, that needs to be um, needs to be resolved, needs to be needs to get to the bottom of it. OK, um, so this power struggle energy, it's. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's going to it's going to arise this week. OK, so let's see what else they they can say. OK, here we go. All right, so remember, this is the 19th through to the 25th of August. OK, so we've got the strength card. OK, so um, this uh, this is going to require a lot of strength, um, a lot of willpower. It's going to require patience, which is also going to be a strength for you, because it's uh, sometimes it's easy, isn't it, to go in um, and um, to a situation with kind of um, the energy of you will sort it out or we will get to the bottom of this or, you know, and get to that kind of raw energy. But is it actually going to resolve anything or is that person going to step further and further away from you? OK, that's going to be the uh, that situation. Now, is it you? If it's you that is kind of needing help but you're not allowing anybody to you know it's going to take you a lot of strength to actually say okay i got to admit that uh, this is a cry for help this is a time for me um to actually um step forward and admit there's an issue okay so um letting go okay uh, we have to sometimes let go of our power sometimes because you know the power is uh it's like sometimes our higher self is uh knows what's best but our personality is um is blocking things okay this isn't a time to be um to be obstinate it's not a time to um to cause issues for other people um so this is a letting go of um this situation okay again we've got that lion card there um, and this is the frustration okay 
Now, the nine of wands indicates this is the story of you're nearly there. You're nearly completing um, the lesson involved. You're nearly um, doing what it is that you promised to do. OK, um, or maybe you're nearly at the stage of letting people in, but you're not there yet. OK, so um, it, uh, yes, it's not easy. It's not easy. I'm also seeing issues around your home and I feel that you are going to be doing some sort of DIY. Um, I'm seeing boxes. I'm seeing packing up. I'm seeing, um, you know, somebody who is reorganizing the home space. OK, um, now there may even be because there's a new job on its way or new work situation. Um, there's new finances. Um, I feel as if these finances are going to give um, you a better um options better options for the future so look out for promotions look out for new responsibility within work um within your uh, close vicinity i feel so this eve could even be a self-employed job it can be something that you have had your eye on for a little while it could be a hobby that then turns in, into a money-making scheme but um this is a very very positive card okay um now, the King of Cups, look out for somebody who's trying to be harder or tougher um, than they really are, okay? There's a vulnerability inside, and sometimes we can kind of be very kind of angry on the outside, but actually that that just protects the that vulnerability. So, yeah, it's not always, what do they say? their bark is worse than their bite okay or their bite is worse than their bark i don't know which way around but um look out for um look out for situations where one person desperately needs help another person is trying to help but is getting pushed back um and also look out for an opportunity to do with finances to do with um building up your finances and a new financial um it's like a, um, a stream of money. It's a regular stream of money, extra finances coming in Sagittarius. And that could be because you've decided to start a new job or you've decided to, you know, make that hobby of yours um, into a money making scheme. OK, um, it uh, it's a, a good thing. OK, <clears throat> so let's go through to Aries. All right, Aries, emotionally, we're going to see what they mean. Okay, what do you, what emotionally is going on with Aries? All right, so somebody literally is needing to start writing that book. Look at the the book open there, okay? Um, maybe you've got the start of the book and the middle of the book, but you're not quite sure how the end is going to be. Um, sometimes it, it can be because the, the middle of the book and the beginning of the book are the best things. It's, uh, it is a work in progress. Um, and um, I can see that uh, you want the happy ever after. We all do. Um, so what are you going to do in order to get that happy ever after? Um, they're also indicating that journaling is also a very good way forward if you're looking at psychic development. Um, when you start journaling, sometimes the pen to paper, it just um, flows and you don't know what you're going to write next. And uh, with this kind of like flow of energy um, going onto the page, it's called automatic writing. And uh, that uh, is going to bring it's like um, knowledge from your higher self and knowledge from your spirit guides. Um, sometimes you can either tune into um, angels and uh, you can turn, you know, the secret is, is it is this information coming to me with love? Is it coming to me with that feeling of um, what's best for me, what's best for everybody? OK, um, that is going to be the key to um, that that channeling. OK, so if um, somebody who is um, your channel channeling is starting to get angry or agitated, I, I don't like that energy and I usually switch off. 
I usually come away from that. Um, so, so I'm always, always listening to that love um, and uh, higher vibrational energy. Um, somebody is blowing things out of proportion. Um, look at that little doggy there and look at that shadow there. Okay, so who do you know who is um, enjoying the drama, enjoying the situation, okay? And when they get all of the attention, um, they're not ready to get it healed. They're not ready to sort it out. They're not ready to move forward. Um, and so sometimes that can be uh, tiresome um, and other people around. Um, it's difficult, isn't it? Because when somebody really needs help, um, it's because they're feeling they're feeling this way. They're feeling vulnerable, um, but they find that nobody is around them, and that is because um, they cannot be people, you know, who are on a high vibrational energy, who could possibly help um, this situation. Um, they can't because they can't be around that negativity for long, and so it's a catch twenty two you then don't get the help you need because your vibration is so low. So it's like the only person who is gonna heal you is yourself. So this is about look for the positives in your life, concentrate on those and bring those um, up to the surface and try and push back um, these negative energies and deal with them when you feel as if you're strong enough and on your feet. Um, and as soon as your vibration starts to get higher and you start to become less of the drama and more of, you know, this is life, this is what's happening, you know, the less of the victim um, there is, the more other people will then uh, come towards you, the more that you're going to get um, on a high vibrational energy for others. Now, I'm not talking about grief here. Um, grief is another thing altogether, and um, it is um, a process that we have to go through um, in order to get to the other side. And it is, it, you know, it depends who who you're who you've lost. Sometimes even um, losing a pet. There's a lot of people at the moment whose pets are not doing good, and um, I've been watching their journeys and I've been feeling their pain. This is a, a member of their family. It doesn't matter that they're a pet; they are a member of the family. Um, and so I'm 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 feeling this energy. So you can grieve as long as you would grieve an actual person when you're grieving a pet. Um, what I'm talking about is the um, the energy of somebody who is wallowing in that self-pity energy um, because they can't move forward. They can't understand that um, nobody wants to hear their uh their um, situation over and over and over again um, because unless something is being changed unless you're ready to move forward so you know I feel as if you're going to be around this particular person I feel as if this particular person um, you know is known to you and I, I can see that um, this is going to change things up okay it's going to change things up um, and uh, I feel that you've you're going to learn a lot from this person, definitely. Okay, let's see what they want to say with the tarot. Okay, right. So this is to do with training, learning and developing skills. Um, it is stepping forward and there is a bit of nerves, but there is, it's like doing something you've never done before and having to be taught. Um, this is like on the job training. Um, this is, um, you know, not shying away from, you know, have you ever done this before? No, but I'm willing to learn. Okay, this is what I'm seeing. There's also, you know, dealing with any problems or situations emotionally, you're going to be dealing with them in a very different way. Um, you're going to be kind of very pleased with yourself for um, stepping um, 
on more of a positive step, more guided kind of energy. Okay. So the two of swords, two of swords is um, that I'm not talking to somebody or I don't want to talk to, to somebody. We've got two twos. Okay. Now twos are, uh, are about once there is a project or a situation, it's what do you do with that project or situation? What do you do with those emotional ties? What do you do with that ambition or that thought that you've had? So the aces are always the ideas and the twos are the doing cards. They are getting the job motivated and started. And um, watch out for that because you're going to be very, very impressed with yourself um, for your organization skills, for your, you know, Aries and Notorious, very good for organization. They're very good for getting the job done and complete and finished. OK, that is a typical Aries. OK, now, if you do this stepping forward and maybe if you decide who you need to communicate with and who you don't. OK, this is what is going to be coming into your life. You know, you've got the nine of pentacles, which is financial security. Um, and this is to do with um, achievable goals. Now, you have decided maybe in the past that your goals were too high, um, that you could not really sustain that. You could not um, achieve those. And therefore, you was always disappointed with your inner child or with your um you know, with life. Um, this, this is, I feel, is taking smaller steps forward and then realizing that you are capable of that. And that is the results. So the nine of pentacles is you've got money flowing into your life, into your hands. Um, there is um, maybe a house, new house in the background. Um, maybe there's a new car. Um, there is a key in her hand. And that feels as if doors are opening and that could be metaphorically speaking. But um, these are very, very good cards um, for, um, I feel, for Aries. Um, there is somebody around you. Watch out for this person who is very, I feel they, they say kind of one liners and those one liners aren't very caring or loving. Just going to say that um, this person is used to getting what they want. And they realize that the attention is going on you and they don't like it. And I feel that, that earlier on in this next week, um, you will have decided you don't want to communicate with that person. You don't want to talk to them. And unfortunately, they're coming back into your life anyway. Um, so, you know, unfortunately, you know, this person has to be involved in everything to do with changes and manipulation energy is around them there is links with overseas okay also and there's also linked with um lots of hard work this hard work will pay off okay it will pay off and um they're saying be proud of yourself be proud of the efforts that you're putting in and keep focusing on your target and you will achieve what it is that you've set out to achieve just be strong OK, just be strong. It's going to be fine. OK, so I'm going to be looking at Aquarius now. Um, I just want to um, say that um, I, I'm so proud of a friend of mine who I've been reading for. Can't get my fringe right. Or my bangs. You guys in America call it bangs, don't you? Did try growing it out. Did. It took all of three or four days before I went. That's it. I can't do it. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, not patient with it. But anyway, I am really proud of a friend of mine. I've been reading for her for a few years. Um, she lives in America and um, her name is Deborah Brown Volkman. Okay, Deborah Brown Volkman. This lady, um, she really impresses me because it's like she says, I'm going to write a book. I'm going to write a book that is going to help other people. <laughs> and it, it was like within one month she said yeah I've, I've, I've done it got it published and here it is and she sent me a copy of this book and I just want to say you know it's worthwhile I haven't read it all I'm going to say to you I haven't read it all but I've been um, browsing through um, 
some pages i wish i had more time to read and things like that but it's like little gems um of information is right the way through here um things that are really going to help you if you are finding that um you know i am going over the old stuff over and over again and i feel i need to change it so that is um the lady's picture and um, that is uh deborah and uh i just highly recommend her um so yeah i mean she's a life coach um she does uh, so many so many things um, she's a career coach as well. So if you want a career change or you want to go in a in a direction um, that is going to be for you, promoting you, then I would say, you know, maybe grab that book. OK, Deborah Brown Hawkman. OK, it is on Amazon if anybody's interested in that. So I don't know, because we're talking about a lot of emotion um, and a lot of people kind of trying to figure out their emotions i felt that that was um that that book is going to help somebody for sure okay i gifted it to a friend um a dear friend julia um and i, I don't see her very often but she's just such a such a lovely lovely lady as well very gentle soul um so yeah i like i said i haven't read it all i've just looked at little gems okay in that Okay, so let's have a look, Aquarius, at uh, your emotional decisions. What's going on emotionally for you? Okay, here we go. Oh, I better record this. This is my son-in-law. Hold on. Let me go. No, not that. That. Okay. Yeah, so um, Aquarius. 19th through to the 25th of august 2024 so yeah this is my son-in-law uh craig hi craig and he did a lot of work for me him and uh, my daughter ria um so lifting furniture and doing things so just want to say um thank you thank you um so anyway this is for you let's see emotionally what they want to tell you All right, so uh, past life stuff. There's there's a lot of past life um, issues coming up. Now these are things that have happened in a different lifetime. Now um, some of you may believe in past lives and others may not. If you have got like a I don't know a trauma or you know you've got like a phobia about something that is irrational um, because you've never had. Um, you've never had any issues say with heights or you've never had any issues with spiders or snakes or whatever in this lifetime but you're bringing it from somewhere um so um something like that um is linked i believe to past lives there's also we come with a soul tribe um that is um people like a, a cluster of people and that cluster of people have been in many of your lifetimes altogether that cluster is um is i would say i mean they say seven but i believe i believe it's more than seven um i believe it's more like 20 um of people and they have either been brothers sisters uncles aunts um friends school you know all sorts of things and then in the next um in the next lifetime they may play different roles you may play different roles for them so that's how i'm seeing it but watch out for meeting up with people that feel familiar meeting up with somebody it's like i know you i don't know how but i know you it feels right here um so this is going to be very very um um strange but also um intriguing okay there's going to be um a very intriguing um energy around a certain person okay that you can't quite understand um so this person is going to be giving you inspiration inspiration to change your life path to change what it is that you're um maybe supposed to be doing um this person could be the key to unlocking that a lot of people come to me in the readings and it's like they're they're saying that uh, 
you know, they're stuck and they feel that they are not achieving what it is that they feel that they're supposed to. It's like um, something is is nudging them to um, to go forward. Something is nudging them. And uh, it's like they're waiting for signs. They're waiting for the universe to open up and say, hey, it's this pathway here. Well, sometimes the universe sends us people that talk about perhaps something that they have done or experienced. And that person can then open and plant a seed um, that then uh, starts to grow. So there is an inspiration coming your way from somebody who is a who has a strong past life energy. OK, um, with you. All right. So sometimes it can be a love. Sometimes it can be a soulmate, a twin flame. OK, sometimes it can be somebody very, very special. So let's see what the cards want to say to Aquarius. Right. OK, so sometimes there can be um, a feeling of torment by the seven of cups. It's like, so which way do we go forward with this? Now, look at these cards. Um, aren't they familiar to each other? Look at look at those kind of um, emotions. So these are from two different decks here. OK, different decks. Um, and uh, I'll show you that one with it as well. So this is the inspiration card. OK, um, so life is is challenging. Um, I can see that you're trying to please everybody. I'm seeing that sometimes there's an overwhelming feeling of being drained because other people don't realize how much you are um how hard you're working to keep everybody happy to be what everybody wants you to be um and so yeah there's also sevens in tarot are choices they are taking a gamble taking a risk um looking at things from all angles and then deciding where you're going to go from from that point now there's a lot of overflowing of emotion as well um which is going to be um, hard to um, hard to deal with that as well. So when we're kind of being matter of fact and very kind of logical and everything's in its place and we can sort it out, um, we can sometimes sort our emotions out quite easily. It's like that is from the past. Um, that is because I'm just feeling um, a bit um, under the weather, maybe and a bit tearful. But this. Uh, this is something that I do need to address. And so sometimes it's a bit like filing, okay, all these different emotions and all these different people wanting you. When you're in that, the mode, you know, a good mode of, you know, got to get this sorted out. We can't carry on like this. It's like, right, I'll deal with that one later. And I'll deal with that one later. That is priority. I've got to sort that out. Um, and that will sort itself out. So it's like you're putting things in order and I can see this all unfolding. OK, um, now, if it's not you being emotional, then you will be uh, dragged into an emotional situation. OK, now, sometimes we can have what's called a double timeline. I spoke about it earlier as well which sometimes means that if there is drama going on and you, it can be avoidable, then sometimes you can shuffle the deck and see if there's another pathway, okay? But nothing here is that dramatic. Nothing here is going to um, affect you in a negative way. It's more to do with just a bit of hassle pie that you just have to um, go through. The Ten of Pentacles here, um, this is financial abundance. This is um, an opportunity that is going to bring you um, that. It's going to bring you wealth or happiness um, regarding money or work, okay? So watch out for those opportunities um, because they're going to be um, really good. Um, there's also um, a work in progress. So is there something that you are working on at the moment um, that requires a lot of your attention. Um, is there moving boxes, changes, DIY in your home? 
um, are you in the process of um, doing a complete sort out? Okay, a bit like me at the moment. Now, the Four of Swords is a structure thing. Um, so sometimes we have to be um, in one of those methodical moods um, so that you can get to the bottom of what is disrupting you in particular. Okay, now this is indicating that you are ready to stand up for yourself. You're ready to um, to cope with anybody who's being negative or anyone who's um, uh, basically criticizing you for the sake of criticizing you. Um, and uh, you can't cope with any, any of that at this moment in time. So you're ready to defend yourself if um, this person does um, overstep that mark. Um, it's about protecting yourself. It's about looking at yourself in cotton wool and, um, you know, really kind of resonating with your inner child. OK, that's going to be very much key this week. OK, um, especially the weekend. There seems to be something happening at the weekend that uh, will require you to be very gentle on your um, your emotions. OK, that's what. I'm seeing with Aquarius. Okay, so. Okay, Gemini's. Let's have a little look. Okay, I'm tuning in now. Okay, so enlightenment. So I'm feeling. Um, Everybody at the moment has gone through a shift recently, and I feel that this is over, I would say, over the last month. <clears throat> so if you was a, a little bit kind of tuned in, you're going to be a lot tuned in. If you was a lot tuned in, you're going to be really tuned in. OK, lots of um, spiritual enhancements. And um, so look at this enlightenment. So have you been feeling it recently? Have you been kind of it's like understanding people without them having to tell you um picking up on things it's like a knowing i don't know how i know i just do um and you know reacting on information that you have with trust even though there are no facts to what you what you know it's like yeah it just uh, it's really clear okay um when you get this information OK, living your purpose. So a lot of people are feeling as if, you know, the job that I'm doing is is fine, but it's not ticking the boxes. It's not making you feel as though this is it. This is what I'm this is what my calling is. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. And sometimes a job isn't necessarily living your purpose. Sometimes you can have a job that's OK, day to day basis is fine. It brings in money. But your purpose is the thing that makes your heart sing. You, you know, the um, life purpose could be um, on the side of the job. OK, so a hobby. OK, so um, there is going to be some, I feel, more enlightenment energy um, and you know, if you didn't already know what living your purpose was about for you, um, you know, watch out for this week. OK, watch out for this week. All right. So I'm just going to tune in and see what the tarot have to say for Gemini's. Oh, lovely. So. Um, look out for um, reuniting with somebody you remember. OK, so look at this familiarity here. OK, you don't have that with somebody brand new unless it's a past life or unless it's somebody that um, maybe you you was connected to and you've been a bit estranged from each other. Maybe um you know, there's a relative that doesn't live near you and you're all meeting up again. It could be an old friend that you um, have kind of, you know, not talked to for a while um, for whatever reason, whether that's a fallout or whether that's just, you know, um, you know, just circumstances. But there is going to be a reconnection there. OK, um, now, has there been a battle in the past? Has there been, you know, some issues? Um, 
If so, I feel that this is going to be addressed. This may come up and you may just sort it out with kind of just a simple explanation. Sometimes people can go um, completely into a rage without hearing what somebody else um, was was actually going through at the time. You know, sometimes we, we need to step back um, and then step forward when we've calmed down. Okay, so this is a spiritual lesson that you're going to be going through. Um, so, yeah, familiarity with a person you really connect to. I feel that this person could be, for some people, it will be an ex. For other people, it will be a family member or a friend. Um, there has been some battles, like I've said, or there has been, or maybe this person or yourself have been going through a lot. And this person coming back into your life is very helpful. Um, but uh, yeah, we've got that spiritual energy um, here. So, you know, there's a, sometimes the universe brings us people into our lives again. And um, it's at the exact right moment for you to learn the lesson. OK, so there's tears, there's emotions. Um, this can be a young person with um, very much um, raw emotions. Um, so this can be, you know, there has been tears when you was a child or when they were a child. There was a lot of emotions. This has led to isolation. This has led to um, trauma. I'm really picking up that somebody um, really um, had a bad time and um, they're only just getting past that. They're only just getting over that. Um, and that has taken them to put their feelings in those boxes and to only analyze them or to to deal with them um, as a um, it's like bit by bit by bit. You know, it's like, you know, peel, peel back the layers. Does that make sense of hurt and pain? Um, because these cards I'll show you these cards there's a lot of emotions there you can see okay these go from the past these these are um, past issues things that have happened um, that really should never have happened okay whatever has been going on here um, this is not easy pain okay now this may not be you firsthand you could be um, helping someone else go through theirs okay but this is the outcome of it the outcome is with a bit of help and with a bit of nurturing and understanding that is what's coming the eight of wands is a clear way forward there's nothing stopping you it's go 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 okay to do with your wishes and dreams and um, you know this is a healing time for sure and a huge spiritual um uprising okay it's uh it's very powerful very powerful so there you go that's what i see for gemini's so this is libra and this is my love um he's a triple libra and so hey baby um so um greg's the triple libra and i've got libra rising um, look out for your sun, moon and rising. So you should be looking at three unless you're Greg who can only look at one because he's triple uh, Libra. But um, most people have those three and that gives you kind of like um, an overview of, um, you know, those three kind of uh, messages. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I've got Pisces, I'm Pisces, sun. I've got um, Sagittarius, moon. And I've got Libra rising. So that's a mixture of my um, of my um, astrology there. So, yeah, look out for yours. Um, if you're wondering how to find yours out, you can go to um, it's like an, um, a free calculator for sun, moon and rising. If you put that in the search bar, OK, it will come up with it. Make sure you put free because otherwise they'll try and sell you birth charts and things like that. You don't need to. And you'll need the location, the time and the day of your birth. OK. Or the estimate of it. Right. Emotionally for Libra. OK, so trust. 
sometimes it's difficult to gain trust back from either your spirit guides, from a partner, from a situation, from yourself. It's very difficult to go back into that trust um, because we are, maybe our confidence has been knocked. Maybe, you know, things haven't happened the way that we feel that they should have happened. Um, and so this is um, one of those times where those those lessons are coming up. OK, so the belief system. OK, um, so sometimes we it is all about our belief system. So what is underneath the belief um, so in order to trust yourself, is there something underneath that makes you um, doubt your abilities or makes you doubt that you, you can um, achieve what it is that you want to achieve? And um, for, for Greg, um, it's all about the shadow banning, I believe. Um, so it, things have been, um, you know, it, it's definitely harder with, with shadow banning and um, I believe that in the future, this will all be lifted and, uh, you know, justice will be met. Um, so, yeah, I feel that, that that's just one of those lessons that you're going to be um, learning. And it is about, you know, um, changing your belief system um, and um, you're switching it over to, no, I do deserve this and I will achieve um, as much as um, I can. I will achieve more. So it's just believing in that. OK, so easier said than done, I know, sometimes. So let's have a look at the tarot, what the tarot have to say. OK, there you go. And then straight away we get the nine of pentacles. Now, the nine of pentacles is about achieving money, achieving financial security, believing you're rich and therefore you will become rich. OK, if we feel poor, we will get more of the same. So sometimes it's like fake it till you make it. Um, and that is the key. And if other people see you as poor, if other people see you as um, a loser or not um, achieving the things that you you're going to achieve and things like that then then um, that can also affect um, the the energy around you um, and so this is it so um, but it, it all of this is the um, abundance law of attraction cosmic ordering praying affirmations they're all the same thing I feel that there's this is the testing time OK, that's going to be coming up around this um, next week. Now, this is it. Keep your strength up. OK, be strong um, and be strong minded. OK, here, keep that strength up. Um, and this is the, to do with rerouting, moving, rerouting, changing of energy. So don't be surprised if there isn't a chance to um, rebuild something or go back and achieve something that was successful in the past and see how that goes. Um, because I feel that something is um, going to be lifting and changing. OK, that's what I'm seeing. OK, and and I do believe it's like I'm seeing somebody um, buying out YouTube. Um, I'm seeing somebody, um, you know, um, starting up something that's like YouTube. Um, so, yeah, there's there's lots of lots of changes that are coming about. Um, so it's about boundaries and it's about people, um, you know, stopping somebody from growing stopping somebody from getting um further with life but there are ways around it and i can see that there is going to be some very clever um workings at this moment there's going to be some very clever and that will bring about success that's about um uh, community energy that's about everybody working together everybody helping each other and really um isolating sometimes those feelings of doubt those feelings of oh this is never going to work or you know the the um the low vibrational doubts and um, so yeah it's um it's all good it, it's all good so sometimes we've got a um it's walking on eggshells 
but it, it is also about focusing on what you can achieve okay and and knowing that you can achieve it deep down and then celebration will come you know that uh, it, it is it is yours for the taking and that's what the guides are saying it's yours for the taking so um there you go that's what i've got for libra Okay, so this is Scorpio's reading for the 19th through to the 25th of August. Okay, so the emotional lesson this week for Scorpios. This is my, my daughter, Rhiannon. Um, that was a card that just flipped over. I'll try and find it again. Um, yeah, so she's my youngest. And uh, thank you for all your help the other day, my love. So she's been helping me move things around. Okay, let me concentrate emotionally on that. Okay, I found the card that flipped over. Okay, so this is about control. And um, it's about leadership. It's about control. Um, it is about kind of weighing up the pros and the cons linked to control, linked to everybody getting what it is that they want out of a situation. So... You know, there's times that, um, you know, to step forward and there's times to step back. And I feel that there is um, going to be a time, I would say, in the next, I would say, four weeks where you're going to be stepping forward again and taking the reins back to your future and to do with a business. OK, um, the book is open to you. So sometimes there is a dark story um, that keeps um, coming up. And sometimes, you know, that dark story comes and bites you in the bum. And um, that is what you was telling me the other day, okay, about, uh, you know, dreaming about something and then it happening. So, you know, I, I feel that. Um, but, you know, you know, when you think to yourself, but what can I do? What can I do about this situation? Um, and sometimes we have to deal with the things that we can deal with and shelve the things that we can't. Um, and that shelving could be just for now or it could all open up um, and become very much of an issue. OK, later. But, uh, you know, at times I feel that, um, you know, it's it's OK to let out that pain or to reveal to other people that, yes, there was pain and emotions there. Um, it is all about making choices, making decisions. OK, what do you do at this moment in time? You know, is it OK to step on forward, OK, with your emotions um, or is it better to hold back? Um, is it better to let somebody know how you're feeling or is it OK to just, um, you know, ignore them and, and see if they'll go away? So it is there's a lot of emotions there. There's a lot of um, you could write a book. You could you could write. And I feel that one day you may. I feel that that may be one that you will write um, it, uh, you know, and that that it may may not have details in it. Um, but I feel that it may be linked with, um, you know, your your interests. OK. And uh, what you've learned regarding your interest. So that could be, you know, your um you know for my daughter for instance it could be about home education um and educating children at home and the the good things and the not so good things um for other people out there you may have a book inside you that is um you know something like a something fictional um or factual whatever it is um there is sometimes a book there and so don't be surprised look at the the book is open okay and it's like you know, sometimes we can we can get out of the drama in our own lives, but we can put it in a book, you know, and uh, we can write about it in that book. OK, so um, there is somebody around you who is sulking at the moment because they're not getting what it is that they want. Um, and it's like, well, why are they not getting what it is that they want? Um, what is going on with them? So you're trying to work out. Um, this fluctuation in this person's emotions this person is around you 
there's also a little bit of boredom and restlessness and um i don't want to keep doing this this is going on and on you know is there another way we can sort this out or communicate because this communication business um and me saying the same thing over and over and over again and then um it's fine and then i have to do it again um, so i do feel as if there needs to be a permanent solution um and that's what spirit world are saying because of the boredom and restlessness so um you know i feel that you are it's like um, building br bridges but making sure they're sturdy enough to never fall down again okay that's that's what they have been saying um, so there is a fatherly character, a father figure, uh, somebody who that could be the direct father of your children, or it could be your father or a fatherly figure. Um, I also feel as though there is, it's like, you know, when there's frustration and there's, you know, throwing your toys out of your pram regarding, you know, your frustrations. And I'm bored of this. And this is also linked of fatherly energy or father figure energy so um so yeah there's lots of different ways of looking at that you know somebody sulking because they're not um being listened to well that can run deep okay as well so we can feel as if someone's being frivolous with their emotions um but when we dig deeper sometimes there's something more going on um inside as well um, you're at the moment around a, a cancerian energy look at the crab there so this person puts a, a hard front on but really they are a softy okay um gallivanting forward um onwards and upwards so i feel as if anything emotional that's going on at the moment you're putting to one side and you are not ignoring it but you're kind of going there's nothing i can do about that right now but what I am doing, this is about my life path, my future, and um, how everything's going to work out um, in my favour. Okay, so yeah, it's a it's a good time to focus. Okay, it's a good time um, to make those choices and decisions about you know a month ahead. I would say. Okay, so yeah, that's what I get. So. We're now going into Pisces. Um, so this is for me and my mum. So hi, mama, and um, all the Pisces out there, okay? Um, so this is the 19th through to the 25th of August. Okay, so like the others, let's have a look and see emotionally what we've got emotionally. Ooh. Okay, so um, basically what you're after is peace, peace and tranquility, um, no stress um, and uh, things to be running as smooth as possible. Um, that's very important. Um, there is holding on to something or someone from the past. Okay, so or it could be a situation that unraveled um, linking with the past and uh, you know when you feel as if you're in the right place at the right time um but it's it's quite uh, traumatic or it's quite emotional as well um but yeah you're standing up for yourself you're standing your ground okay and that is because you know there's somebody coming in i feel who's got the, some of the answers to the questions that you have this person um, is going to help you to understand what you're holding on to. Now, for some of you, and I feel this is for me as well, um, there is links with past life. And that past life issue, it's like, why has there been the holding on? Why has there been um, something that has stopped you from, um, from it's like growing or, um, or revealing more about yourself? Sometimes we hide behind um you know we hide behind our, our facade and uh, we don't want other people getting too um involved in that okay so i feel as if there's some very deep stuff um i feel to do with you know psychology and um that is all going to be pieced together okay or the pen is going to drop and you're going to be like oh okay that makes sense that that opens up so many doors to 
to me okay so this is the abundance card as well and uh, you know watch out for the abundance energy the um the feeling that you have um succeeded and you will succeed um in what it is that you want to do i mean you know this is money this is money literally coming to you and whatever money you are giving out there is more money coming in so and this is definitely um um it's like it's not one-sided this is happening and i feel the universe is playing lovely kind of it's like playing music together okay so everything is is going very well okay let's have a look and see what the tarot say now okay Okay, so um, has somebody been making you feel rejected or have you been rejecting somebody? Um, has there been um, this uh, like a misunderstanding or has there been, you know, have, have you been honouring um, people in your life or honouring people um, close to you? Have you had enough time for them or, or have has um, things been... A little bit um crazy okay in your life so something is needing to be um looked at addressed um so that everybody can feel as if they've been treated fairly okay now emotionally this could come at a time it's like but what about my emotions what about me so it could be that everybody else wants um attention but sometimes you're needing to go within yourself um to sort out your own <clears throat> your own needs okay and so i feel that this is it's like it's difficult to please everybody and that's what that feels like um so the two of pentacles stepping onto new ground with a new it's like a new chapter of your career of your work a new chapter and that new chapter is going to be something that you will stand by um so it's like nothing's going to stop you from um, achieving the goal that you set yourself. Um, and this is linking to, you know, when you talk about, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, but then nothing comes of it. Um, well, that isn't going to be the case by, I would say next week, the end of next week, maybe the beginning of the following week, there will be a completion energy within a goal that you've set yourself, a target. And uh, that target is going to be seen by others. And there will be, it's like, you know, when someone does that fanfare and here it is. Um, so watch out for that. OK, but new money is coming in new money and um, protection as well. So I feel as if, you know, when you're offering your protection or you're offering your help, um, you know, it's like taking people under your wing um, offering them help um, and standing up for them, standing by okay um so also financial loss or putting more energy in than you're getting out of a situation so sometimes when we start anything new we do um put more time in than we get out and that is because um it's all new and it's all gotta gotta happen so you know it is it is what it is um but you do have the four you have two fours here yeah i thought there was more than that but yeah you've got two fours which is structure um structure and change so if this was um a building then it would have the right foundations um if this is a business then again it's got the right foundations um it's got the emotional abundance okay um it has got you know protection okay so spirit are protecting you spirit are ready to work with you so i do feel as if this new change is coming and i feel that this is coming from um you know it's part of a download it's part of a you were meant to do this this is what you were meant to do okay um emotionally thumbs up thumbs up emotionally um you are going to be helping others in the meantime others will be helping you so it's a bit of a two-way situation and uh, yeah spirit couldn't be happier actually um with this new venture so yeah it's good i'm excited okay 
I know what it is, you see. Um, but for you, you've got to work out what it means to you. OK. All right. OK, so this is for Cancerians for the 19th through to the 25th of August. Um, and this is my other daughter. This is my Meggie. You hear this every week, I know, but I'm so proud of my my girls, my family. So, um, yeah, so this is this is for them. It's also for you if you're Cancerian. Um, sometimes you will get um, information from whichever um, astrology reading um, you're seeing. OK, there will be um, it's like messages that are relevant. OK, so you don't have to be that birth sign. So let's have a look at the emotional lessons this week. Here we go. OK, so having to make some emotional choices and decisions. And sometimes there's a feeling of being overwhelmed with how to go about that, how to how to make decisions going forward. And if you have a look closely at that, um, it's like some pathways going forward. There's it's like it's hard. It's hard to um, to break through that. It's hard. Um, and that feels as if it's frosty as well. Um, and then there's other, others that are windy roads, okay, that are also there. So I feel as if there is, um, like, definitely the choices energy is quite um, apt there. Um, it's also about choices in control, um, taking control of a situation and um, making sure that everybody knows the rules, everybody knows where they stand. And I do feel as if that is going to be um, a big thing. OK, and um, I and that that does make sense um, as well. Um, so it's, it's about weighing up the balance of the control as well. OK, so um, the dark story. So sometimes we don't want to appear to be the villain. We don't want to appear to be the one person who is. Um, you know, not making sense to people. And then at other times, it's like, yeah, but what about my feelings? What about what I'm feeling? What about what is going on? So I feel as if there is, it's like um, um, going back and forth and back and forth with um, dissecting things. Um, so the rules, okay? So look at the rules. Look at what is um, what is important, what is not important. Um, looking at, um, you know, standing up for yourself, standing up for what you believe in as well. And um, communication is very um, interesting as well. So this is the communication card. And you are um, definitely standing there saying, I want to communicate. I want to find out what the situation is. Um, but equally, it needs to be at a time that... Um, is uh, in the middle so that's what it it feels like okay so let's have a look and see what is going on with the in the tarot for cancerians right okay so you've got the three of swords so again it's quite a direct card it's the most sarcastic card in the deck and it basically says um, it's like, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. And it's saying, the universe is saying, yep, get on with it. It's got to be done. Go for it. You know, you know what needs to happen. So it is, um, it's like something inside you is pushing you um, to deal with the matter. Um, now, the two of wands, the ace of, I've got to go back to the ace of wands to tell you what this is. So the ace of wands is, um, the start of a new project, the start of a new, um, it's like, yeah, that's it. That's what I'm going to do. Um, you know, that inspiration, that feeling of change is here and I'm going to um, I'm going to achieve that. So it's like and then the the two is the getting on with it. OK, the two is the preparation. It is putting all the all your ducks in a row. It's um, making sure that if I do this, this is what's happening. If I do that, that's what's happening. So there's all about a lot of preparation involved. And I feel that this is linked with this deal with it 
okay i'm dealing with the matter and i'm getting everything organized because of it um and this is about loving yourself and saying i am um a good person i am um i don't need to change for anybody and for my meggy i'm going to say exactly you are um a wonderful um wonderful daughter and um this this the ten of cups is about overflowing of love and affection for yourself and loving yourself okay um nobody's perfect nobody can um can do more than than what's in your heart so um this is a message for the other cancer You can see the shackles are coming off here okay you can see those shackles are off um and uh, you're ready to you're ready to get away from the situation you're in sometimes um there is going to be reuniting there's going to be reconnecting with somebody that you have been maybe estranged from that person is coming back in and you are better than ever now, for other people, that could be um, linked with an ex, it could be a family member, or it could be a friend, okay? Um, but it's like that person is back in your life, and there is reconciliation there. Um, uh, there's the ace. I knew the ace was coming. Um, so when I said the ace, the two, okay, so the ace is the boredom and restlessness. I want change. Um, and I know that uh, that has been happening there. And then the two is the plan. OK, create the plan, get on with the plan um, and all will be well. Um, there's a fatherly character. I feel the fatherly character. And there needs to be some spiritual energy around that fatherly character. Um, it's like sometimes it's all about uh, regimental and uh, not enough about um, compassion and learning um, about the the ups and downs. OK, in life okay so there you go that's what i see for um not just cancer but for all the uh birth signs this week um i'm going to say that uh, i have been i've tried this three times um i've tried to do this and i have been blocked and stopped so much okay so um and i don't know i don't really know why apart from just being exhausted so i am taking the uh, wegovy um injections um for weight loss at this moment and um i'm on my first week so yeah it's probably just getting into balance with that and uh, usually i can do uh, 6 a.m. um readings which is 10 to 6 a.m now um usually i can do them no problem at all but i'm um yeah i'm not i'm not doing so so great um <laughs> at this time um so yeah i tried last night to do the readings and then now i'm doing them now and the reason why i'm doing them i'm able to do them now is because there was a lovely lady um sandy i love you um but sandy didn't need me tonight so i was um i thought oh, i'll do the astrology readings um for uh, for now then okay so yeah that's basically my life in a nutshell so um but uh, if anybody does i've put to uh, sandy um shasta her dog who's not not been very well and um and butch i put everybody on there um i've put sherry and alex there and brian so if there is anybody who does need to be put onto the healing list please let me know okay this does work and if you're watching this please pour some loving energy into this um as well because uh it's uh it's amazing when we all kind of group together for um our healing sessions um whatever time of day it is and wherever you are in the world it really does happen and uh people have been saying to me hey this uh, this worked okay so that's happened a lot all right so anyway i'm going to get some sleep now lots and lots of love
and have a wonderful week and maybe see you guys on tuesday which is today <laughs> here in england um i will be with greg at doing the shows um so we're on youtube um in 5d um we're on um, there at uh, 8 p.m eastern okay which works out at uh, 1 a.m uk and also then we are on for an hour and a half okay and that's global predictions so you come and ask any questions that's going on in the world um, you can ask that um, we do some um like super chat ones so if you wanted to um ask a, a personal question um we can do them but we can't ask you for anything but you can donate if you want to so um so there is that um but um mainly is global predictions and then on um an hour, a couple of hours later at uh, 10 p.m and that's um eastern and that is uh, 3 a.m uk then we'll be on rumble and that is uncensored so um, we don't have any restrictions on what we talk about we just talk about whatever uh, we want and uh, greg accumulates some videos and some um, bits and pieces that uh, um, we have all um, been watching in the news or you know maybe there's stuff that you haven't seen yet and uh, you know bringing all that information to you and uh, we chat about it together and laugh probably as well so anyway take care lots and lots of love and bye for now and thank you for your support if you want a reading you can go to psychicalley.net and uh, grab a reading with myself okay bye